can I sneak up on? <laughs> this is awkward, what? Let me just uh, save my cousin real quick. Hey, hey, Constantine, wake up! Bruh, what are you doing? Oh, his eyes are open. He looks pissed. Mmm. This one. Sneak attack. <gasps> I can do it. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. That's enough. Free him. I cannot. Oh, source of life. Free him. Ah, uh, so this is part two. Damn it! Oh, he's transforming. Oh, the real battle begins now. Must be related to the, the one from the arena. I got plenty of bullets for you, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's tracking. Uh oh. What the frick, Timon? Zawardo! He has the same moves as the the guy from the arena. So the arena guy must also be a high king then. Maybe. Constantine! Wake up, please! I beg you! Hang on. We're bringing you home to get you healed. Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. Tell oh, wow. with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. What the heck happened to The him? affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let me... <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. What happened to him? He just escaped a deathly sleep and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you, cousin. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. I haven't even taken a look at myself. 
Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm gonna tell you everything. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you. But Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it. And in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site. A place full of magic. I followed his instructions. And all of a sudden, what an incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. Well, I hope we can do all three, but I want to know what Vinbar was thinking. It seems that Vinbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Hmm. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. <laughs> How does it feel like Constantine's gonna turn evil for some reason? Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Done Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Done Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone, and there, a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on Mon Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Miel Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh, no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Hmm. Constantine. My dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? You told me that during the ritual with Katasak, you felt the bond he'd created. It's true. And it was an incredible feeling. I felt like I was every blade of grass in that remote place. I could see everything, feel everything, and I knew that I could bend the trees to my will. Do you still feel that way? <laughs> yes. But in a more high on dull, drugs, man. muffled way. The first time, it was surreal <laughs> and perfect. In fact, I don't know if there's a word for it. The first time? The first time it happened. Now it's as if I've become used to feeling this bond. I think Katasash knows how to make some good brew. I must take my leave. Take care, and come back soon. Karantz, I want to understand this story about the promise made to the priests. I am certain that they lied. You understand the Renegade better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Let's do it. Of course. Let's go. Hey.
Hello, my child. What a pleasure to see someone come to us with such eagerness. Do you want to hear the word of Saint Matthias and come into the light? Not really, Father. My name is the Sarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Nice to meet you, Your Excellency. What can we do for you? What exactly do you hope to do in this village? Well, bring light to these naive souls, of course. When we spread the word of Saint Matthias, I'm sure they will embrace our faith with fervor. Anything else, my child? We would like to know more about the agreement you supposedly sealed with Bladnit. I do not see how our agreement concerns the congregation. But since you are asking us, we swore to provide this village with all our support in their fight against the Alliance. Ha. In exchange, its inhabitants will have to renounce their pagan cult and turn towards the light. There My was a deal made. My would never have made such an agreement. She's the one who encouraged me to become a Donegad. The Queen had understood that the light was the only true path, even if she was attached to traditions. It is for this reason that we have accepted to seal our agreement according to your own rituals. She had an engraver come to Falristal. He carved your strange symbols in the stone. I do not believe a single word of this. You, the people of the light, are nothing but liars. You would do well to hold your tongue, young lady. This village is now under our spiritual authority. Spiritual authority. By not respecting us, you are committing blasphemy. And blasphemy is a crime that we punish severely. Because you think that you can administer justice Surprise, here. Petrus hasn't said anything. I am the daughter of Bladnid, and you are... Siora, let's not get into another battle and make new enemies. Let's go find this stone. That is an excellent idea. Then you will see that we are telling the truth. They're up here. Nani? Oh wow, it's far away. Uh, we gotta go out. Village. There's no campfire nearby. Oh, never got it. That's why. His bandits. Any bad yams? Yeah, I guess they are. <laughs> 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 Well, the monsters may have leveled up, but these guys are still child's play. Here's the stone we were looking for. It is destroyed. We can no longer decipher the symbols. Strange, isn't it? This stone was damaged on purpose. We will never know the precise terms of the agreement. There may be a way. Promises in stone are a very ancient tradition. Those who want to make these agreements must turn to a keeper of promises. An artisan who makes the stone speak. There are but a few. We did not have one in our village before Karadek's arrival. He must be the one who engraved this stone. I thought you could not write. The Donegada have a secret writing that the keepers of promises always learn. Those who want to seal a promise tell them to write and they take care of it. Mm. 
So writing is a uh, skill reserved for the top people. Strange. It looks like no one's there, but the door's left open. Uh oh. This place got ransacked. Empty. Everything is broken and turned upside down. Empty. A sculpted engraved stone. What happened here? It seems like there was a fight. Everything is scattered around. It's as if someone wanted to meticulously destroy everything in this workshop. The owner must have left in a hurry, taking a few things and destroying the rest. Unless someone else did this. We must find Karadeg. Do you know where he might be? This engraved stone bears the mark of Beraeg Nodas, Don Cass's clan. Do you remember him? Karadeg originally belonged to this clan. He may have returned. Mm. Let's go to Vigigidor, and we'll find out. V Vigigidor. Way out. Oh, what brings you here on Omanawi? We're looking for Karadeg, the keeper of promises. Did he come back to your village? He, he did come and then he left. We could not take him back. Eh? Did you exile him? Why? He is the one who left. He disagreed with our stance on the Renaixe. He thought that we should be fighting them, throwing them back to the sea. This is why he joined the Gaius Rad. And I did not want him to return if it meant that he would bring his hatred with him. Do you know where he might have gone? He feared someone or something, and he wanted to hide. He must him. have left for the woods south of here. He knows the area well. Is there anything else? I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam Seg. Probably some missionaries uh, chasing him down. Is that him? He's over there. He's by himself. Siora! Bertir to mad, Donegad. What are you doing with these strangers? These strangers are my friends, Karadeg. You can speak in front of them without fear. What do you want? Tell me about your role as Keeper of Promises. What does it consist of? Most words must be free and able to fly like birdsong. But some words must survive those who utter them. So they call on the Keepers of Promises. Those who want to become one must win the trust of the Donegada and prove their wisdom. Then they teach us the words of stone. And when someone wants to seal a promise, we offer them those words. So you're a kind of cleric? Hmm. Thank you, Karadek. Do you want to know anything else? We would like to ask you about a stone you supposedly engraved. It is the stone of the Rinaigs, isn't it? Oh, he should never have accepted to seal such a promise. Oh, he did not like them, but I could not refuse to fulfill my duty. Not when Bladnid was demanding it. Well, but Bladnid did she want is the no peace. Longer with us, these Monasinaiga are chasing me. It is because you are the last person to know what was engraved on it. The stone has been destroyed. I kept the piece of tree bark in which I prepared the glyphs. All the details are there. With this tree bark, we could verify what my mother promised. Can you give it to us? No, Donegad. I do not mean to disrespect you, but I will not. The Rinaigse only bring us trouble, and you'll come with them. They will disappoint you just like they disappointed your mother. 
I do not want to deal with them ever again. They threaten my life. And because of them, I am forced to hide here. Wow, this is messed up right here. Since you want to chase the Renaigse away, and since you want protection, why don't you join the rebels? We could indicate the location of one of their camps for you. The rebels? The Donea Exregao. They fight the Renaigse, and they accept people from all clans. I have heard about them, but I didn't know where to find them. We could help you join them, but we need this tree bark. It's the only way to prove that the priests lied. In that case, take the tree bark. I hope that it will help you to chase these Renaigse away, Don Egad. And I did not think I would say this one day. But thank you, Renaigse. What do these glyphs say? That we will assist the priests in their war against the lions, and they must help us in return. There is nothing about the spirits of the people of the village, or renouncing our traditions. I knew they were lying. Let's show this to Iseld. Nice. Always like the fast travel parts. Fortunately, it's not offered for every mission. My child, what can we do for you? What is that old man sound like an old lady? Do you maintain your version of events regarding the pact with the queen? Naturally. Hmm, if I were you, I would have taken some time to think before replying. Really? Because we found the man who engraved this stone. A man that you wanted to silence. He gave us a piece of tree bark with the words the Queen had asked him to immortalize on the stone. You see? Destroying the stone was not enough to hide your lies. This is... regrettable. But apart from this child, we are amongst civilized people. If this village is so dear to you, then you know that it will not survive another assault from the Alliance without our help. Even if they don't know it, they need us. What would you say if I offered you this hefty sum of money to forget about your unfortunate discovery? For the sake of the village, of course. As despicable as this agreement may seem, my colleagues are not entirely wrong. <laughs> this village has suffered a lot from its first battle against the Alliance. Having allies would allow them to hold their ground. Negotiate to obtain 400 gold coins. Nah, man. Don't count on me to support your lies. That is regrettable, Your Excellency. Because of you, these poor children will be slaughtered by the Alliance. And we were told that you were receptive to the light. How do you think that he will judge you? And what will Teleme think of a foreign diplomat sabotaging the mission of their priests? I cannot believe these mind shakers tried their lies on you. Let's go see Azeld without delay. We must tell her that they lied and chased these men away from our village. Mm. We're gonna have to fight some alliance people. Siora, Asir, always with your new friends. Bertir to Madiseld, I'm happy to see you. What do you want? Chill out, lady. Here to Azeld, help. Azeld, about this pact your mother supposedly made with the priests. Yes. Did you find anything new? Hmm. We retrieved the piece of tree bark that Karadeg used as a model. Siora, what's written on it? Mother promised to help them against the lions, and they promised to help us in return. There's nothing mentioned about them settling here. And even less about them being entitled to the spirits of the people of our village. So they lied. They mocked us. And insulted the memory of our mother. I think it's high time they left. Don't you agree? I think so too. Come on, let's go. You lied to us. You took us for gullible children. 
Leave this village at once. You will never be welcome here again. But if you want our help with the Alliance, your people must convert to the light. Oh, they are really trying hard. That's Petrus here. Nah, man, I'm good. I got, I got this. 100%. By lying, you have 100%. insulted the memory of the Queen. The entire village will be happy to make you pay for your affront if they hear about it. You do well to leave before having to face their wrath. We are not here to shed blood. Very well, we're leaving. But we will not forget your role in this matter, Your Excellency. Ooh, scary. Minus one. That's fine. <sighs> I did not think they would leave of their own accord. Thank you, Onol Manawi. Thanks to you, we managed to chase away these lawyers. And we will be able to perform our rituals and give our mother back to the earth. Yes. Thank you. Our village is in your debt. Siora, I will need you for the ritual. Will you help me? Of course, Asir. Mm. Where's the ritual at? I guess that's not part of it. Yeah, it's not part of it. Yeah, that's not part of it. Karantz, do you need something? That's it. That's it. I must leave you. See you later. All right, let's go find that High King. Or let's go talk to Glendon. Glendon. Yeah, so, uh, apparently, I got High King Vinbar's sword. I didn't even know about it. I have it equipped now. And this is the broadsword of the deceased king that I was using earlier. This does exactly one extra armor damage. That's the only difference. <laughs> Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasach. We learned of his death. And they washed Tire. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your high king, Vinbar, is also dead. And I have he was sword. taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasach and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Uh-oh. What happened? How could a friend of Katasach do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nardaik. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enamil Frigdemon, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. Undivorced, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Bladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans, so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. Ooh. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world Are with we his wants to choose? honey dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. Yeah. Who will win the vote in your opinion? I don't know. 
Each of the three chiefs that I spoke of could win. It is possible that some amazing feat places one of the Mal above the others. If Blagnid had been victorious, she would certainly have won this time. But that was not to be. Is there anyone else among those presenting themselves? Do not date me for someone born last summer. You want to influence the vote for your own gain, but you shall fail this time. And you must go before the one we have chosen. Can I do anything else for you? This guy ain't no fool, man. Okay. I must leave. Goodbye. Kwa awelem seg. Kwa awelem seg. We must choose who we want elected. Isn't this the one that hates our guts? Ulan was the one that uh, lied to us. Dunkus. Maybe we'll go Dunkus. I don't think he did anything bad to us, as far as I can remember. Earn at least one pretender. Pretender's trust? What's, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, yo, Dunka. What brings you here on Almanawi? I'm the bearer of bad news. Vinba, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king and a very wise Donegad. It's we not haven't the only thing seen I need him in a long you. time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power, but Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past. And chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed. And my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Anon Mil Frichtman. And I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Mm. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. Kill the other the two. high kings of old wore a legendary crown. Said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtman. Ah. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the <laughs> others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nadaig Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and a guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect. For those who rest there were great men. Now we have earned the trust of one of the pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain you are willing to influence the fate of all my people to meet Anon Mirfrichtman? 
I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant, but the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a High King. It may be wise to make sure your pretender's intentions are compatible with yours. And if it's not the case, to find another. We wouldn't want to be the architects of a future we don't like, would we? You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. Nah, man, Luntis is cool. He's way better than Ulan, who's uh, manipulating us. Or Queen Dre Dre, who uh, wants revenge. We're going with Dunkus, man. The dude that wants balance. Balance, man. That's what he is. Hold on. All right, let's do this. We got the High King sword with me. This is going to be up. Zawar the Koden. Zawar the One more shot, one more shot, one more shot. Ah, I didn't finish him off. Alright. Let's find that crown. I get one of them. It's a big kill. Ow. May the shadow engulf our enemies. I like how that power skill gives iframes <laughs> while I'm spinning around. style building so there were colonists in this cave is this a boss area it's a skull face
There has to be something guarding it. Right? What are you doing there? Oh, it's their train. Here lie those who fell facing the first invaders. And you dare enter and scatter their bones. I did not come here with the intention of defiling this place. No. You came looking for a crown of the High King, hoping to choose the one who will lead us. And what Isn't are you what doing you here? For as well? Exactly. Yes, but I am not a Renaigse. I wish to lead my people to victory, and I have come here seeking something that will make it a certainty. And so, do you plan on keeping it for one of those who is too wise or cowardly to come and get it themselves? Or will you give me the crown? Dertere is a great warrior. If she reigns, she will unite all of the clans. And with the blessing of Enon Mirfrichtum and the people of your island will be chased away from here. Think long on this. If you leave her the crown, she will become the High Queen. You will not be able to change your mind. If I give you the crown, you shall be named High Queen. What will you do with this power? You have already shown to all that you are not like the other Renaixe. I will not hide from you the truth. Kirfradi does not want to welcome your people. They toy with us. Take without returning, kill and pillage. I will unite my people and cast all of the Monesenaig into their ocean wagons. They will go and pillage elsewhere. You want the crown so you can more easily rid yourself of my presence afterward? If you give it to me, you will become our Karants. And we do not chase away our Karanten. And also, you are on all Manawi. You are bonded to this land, not to theirs, no? Yeah, but that's not really gonna solve the Malachor problem. <sighs> I have come here looking for this crown, because I need the help of the next High King. I must meet Enon Mil Frichtemann to ask him to heal my people. Exactly. Are you sure that they are your people? Very well. It is a very great honor you ask of me. But you took great risks in order to obtain it. If you give me the crown, I will open the sanctuary to you. You may speak to Enon Mil Frichtemann. I swear this to you. Nah, I give it to Duncan. Sorry, Dadra. I believe someone You're gonna have other than to you get over my dead body. King. Someone more easily manipulated, who will obey the orders of the Renaixe, no doubt. Too bad. You leave me no choice. I have come to take that crown, and I won't leave without it. Oh, you get a bullet in the face. Maybe protect me in this. Enough. <laughs> I accept my defeat. Always take a bullet crown. to the face. I am not worthy to wear it. So it seems. So it seems indeed. We will meet again at Dorhad Genedu. Until then, Dirdra. I was not convinced. Super not convinced. She wants to, uh... Hey, I understand that, uh, their island was invaded. So, she's pretty angry. Ah, oh, so this is where the professor died. Rip. May the mighty protect me in this battle. This deep spirit. May the sh. Can 
convince King Unan? What? No, I didn't need to convince Unan. What the heck? Return to Doorhead. Yeah, that place. Oh, here you go. I went into the tomb. I found the ancient crown of the High Kings. And so, you entered into one of our most sacred places. May this adventure have brought you wisdom and understanding of our people and of your own history. This relic is venerated. The one who wears it will certainly be elected. But you know that, do you not? Yes, I do. I need to be certain that whoever is named will help me meet Enon Mil Frichtemann. Oh, I have pledged my honor to help you, and my words are true. But more is being played here than a simple meeting. You know that I work for a tempering of spirits, the healing of wounds of Tifredi, and those of your own continent. But the decision is yours. To the sun that was lost, and refound on our island. Yeah, bro. I give it to you. Take it. I trust you. In your wisdom, may we be guided towards a peaceful future. The council has begun to unite. It is time for me to go. Thank you for choosing me. I will do all in my power to bring you what you desire. You have my promise. Uh oh. Whoa, that's crazy. It's a barrier. <laughs> I don't want to have to kill you right off the bat, Dunkus. I'll give you that smirk. Congratulations, Dunkus. I'm certain that you will be a very wise High King. And now, are you ready to keep your promise and take me to meet with Enon Miel Frichtemann? You are burning with the impatience of youth. But according to tradition, I must first go to the sanctuary on my own. Without the blessing of Tifradi, my title is nothing but empty, meaningless words. But fret not. How could I be called wise if I went back on the promise I made my friend as soon as I got elected? Meet me at the sanctuary's entrance in two days, and I will open its doors for you. Thank you, Dunkus. I'll be there. Every one of us will be praying during these two days for Enon Mir Frichtemann to bless our chosen one. But we don't have to stay here and do nothing. We can go somewhere else if you want. Now we're good. There you are, Karantz. How was the encounter? Enon Mir Frichtemann welcomed me like a mother would welcome her child. Or you will have to meditate on everything he told me, and think about the warnings he gave. But now he's waiting for you. I will open the way. Once you are in the sanctuary, always stay on the right-hand path, and keep a confident heart. Those who let doubt take hold of them and turn back, risk awakening the guardians of this place. Kwa Aulam Seg. So, uh, go left. Got it. 
All right, we'll go right. Whoa, this is a huge door, man. Really big door. Take the right path, he said. There's only one path. There's no other path. I guess we're not inside inside yet. I guess we're near the volcano now. Got some hot rocks. What? There was another path? Okay. I'm guessing there's like a guardian down there? Ah. That's definitely not the right path. <laughs> that goes around here and then down in this way. Huh. That's a whole nother area. Oh well. Let's go meet this and all frick them in. Oh, it didn't matter where you went. Apparently. It all led to the same place. Yo. Is that the Yggdrasil? tree that giant monster thing on the tree I have come to you to find a remedy. A cure for the disease of a distant land. Her affliction was to be poisoned by her own children. Her veins rocked in stagnant water. Her earth now bears poisoned fruit. And her children wither and die. And still it is those same children who can heal the lands, and with them heal themselves, if they only want it truly. They could be taught by my children, learn to give back in return, learn to heal. But for that, I must survive. I have seen by your side the shadow grow, taking form. 
fed by the venom of intrigues from faraway lands. He spreads it today in my sap. To save his own life, he stole my strength, and that strength has driven him mad. Because it is not made to be. Taken. Is he talking about Constantine? He draws each day a little more from me and threatens us all. His Yo. hunger is that has Constantine? no limit. I don't understand. Who are you talking about? The one you call ah. Constantine. You must stop him. Or there will be no cure anymore for anything or anyone. That dude's draining uh, Frickton's juice. That's impossible. How could that His be? power. You must leave now. Someone has followed your footsteps. Someone has entered here without invitation. Uh -oh. My children are waking and tracking. They will attack all from us. Ah, uh, here we go. Flee, or you will be dead. So that's why Vimbar was trying to kill Constantine. 